This is another repeated problem that is usually asked in the KTU question paper. This problem consists of current sources instead of voltage sources. Therefore, by seeing a current source itself, we have to decide this equation is solved simply by using nodal analysis. Even though it is not specified in the question, if there is a current source is presented in the given circuit, we have to solve the equation simply by using nodal analysis. The, this is a similar, the first circuit is a question and I have redrawn the similar, uh, the circuit similar as shown in the second one. This both the circuits are similar. Any one of these can be asked for the uh, examination, university examination. We are going to solve this circuit by using the Kirchhoff's current law or nodal analysis method. Firstly, I have to identify, the first step is to identify the principal nodes first i have the principal nodes then here i have identified three principal nodes v1 v2 v3 and i have assigned this node as the reference node and reference node v0 is equal to 0 volt i have assigned three principal nodes v1 v2 v3 and v0 since i have three principal nodes here i will get three equations and i have to solve these three equations to determine the value of v1 v2 and v3 which are our unknowns and our question is to find the currents in various resistors. So I have to determine, firstly to, after determining V1, V2 and V3, I have to determine all the currents flowing through different branches or different resistors in the given circuit. Therefore, by, by firstly I am going to apply KCL at node, first node, first principal node, that is a V1. That is in the first principal node, I have different branches. This is the first one, this is the second one, this is the third one and this is the fourth one. Therefore, I have four elements connected to the first principal node. I am assuming the currents are flowing outwards from the first principal node. This is a current, this is another current, this is another current and another source current source is also connected and the direction of current source is shown as it is towards the principal node. Direction of current source is towards the principal node. Therefore, all the th other three unknown currents are assumed to be flowing outwards from the node and the current given is inward from the node. Therefore, according to Kirchhoff's current law, the algebraic sum of inwards currents and outwards currents is equal to 0. Therefore, I can write, firstly, I have to write the equation for current through the 5 ohm resistor. That is, equation for current through the 5 ohm resistor can be represented as V1 minus V3 by 5. Next, the expression for current through 3 ohm resistor. 3 ohm resistor is in between V1 and V2. Therefore, I can represent V1 minus V2 divided by 3. And next, I have to represent the current through 2 ohm resistor. 2 ohm is between V1 and V0. Therefore, it is equal to V1 minus 0 divided by 2. Also, the next element is current. That is, these three currents are flowing outwards. And the current source is connected such that the current is flowing inwards. That is, arrow is showing inverse to the corresponding node. Therefore, I have to represent it by the opposite sign. That is, minus 10 is equal to 0. This is the equation corresponding to the first principal node. And this equation can be simplified as... 31 V1 minus 10 V2 minus 6 V3 is equal to 300. Let it be equation number 1. Similarly, by applying Kirchhoff's current law at second principal node, I can represent the equation for currents. This is the second principal node and there are three branches connected to the second principal node. Therefore, the first current is the current through the 3 ohm resistor. That can be represented as V2 minus V1 by 3 plus the second one is a current through the 5 ohm resistor and that is equal to V2 minus 0 divided by 5 plus and third one is a current through 1 ohm resistor that is V2 minus V3 by 1. V2 minus V3 divided by 1 that is equal to 0. This equation can be simplified as 5 V1 minus 23 V2 plus 15 V3 is equal to 0. This is a simplification of this equation. Let it be equation number 2. Let it be equation number 1. Next, consider in the third principal node that is V3. We have four elements connected to the principal node. And four are unknown currents. And one is known current 2 ampere which is flowing outwards from the principal node. Let these currents are also flowing outwards from the principal node. This is flowing this way and this is flowing this way. Firstly, I have to represent the expression for current flowing through the 5 ohm resistor. That is this current. That can be represented as... V3 minus V1 divided by 5. Next is a second current. Current through 1 ohm resistor is given by V3 minus V2 divided by 1. And next is third one is V3 minus 0 divided by 4. 
the second next is the current source that is current source is also shown in the di uh, direction that it is going outwards from the principal node therefore it can be also represented by the same thing that is 2 is equal to 0 this is all the sum of all currents at the principal node and this equation can be simplified as 4v1 plus 20v2 minus 29v3 minus is equal to 40 you can represent this as is equal to 40 this is equation number 2 therefore we get 3 mesh equation corresponding to 3 unknowns and next we can represent these 3 equations as in matrix form that is 31 minus 10 6 5 minus 23 15 4 20 minus 29 into v1 v2 v3 is equal to 0 0 40 so this is a system equation that is conductance matrix into voltage matrix is equal to current matrix therefore by simply by solving by using Kramer's rule we can determine the value of v1 and v2 and v3 v1 is obtained as v1 is equal to 12.05 volt v2 is obtained as 5.10 volt and v3 is obtained as 3.80 volt these are different values of v1 v2 and v3 by solving using Kramer's rule and next we are, our question is not completed right our question is to find the currents in various resistors of the circuit we have to determine the currents in various resistors of the circuit therefore we have to determine the current through this resistor current through this resistor this resistor and all the other resistors therefore by simply using these two equations i can represent the currents through all the resistors that is firstly the current through 2 ohm resistor i2 ohm is equal to v1 minus 0 divided by 2 that is equal to v1 by 2 similarly i3 ohm is equal to v1 minus v2 divided by 3 similarly i5 ohm is equal to v1 minus v3 divided by 5 similarly i5 ohm current through this 5 ohm is equal to current through the next 5 ohm 5 ohm is equal to v2 minus 0 divided by 5 similarly current through 4 ohm i 4 ohm is equal to v3 minus 0 divided by 4 similarly current through the 1 ohm resistor i 1 ohm is equal to v3 minus v2 divided by 1 therefore by solving this expression we can simply obtain the values of all the branch currents so this is a more simplest way to solve the mesh equation by using Kramer's rule and uh, the important point to be remembered is that if we saw a current source in the given question we would straight away we should go for nodal analysis even though it is not specified the other method to solve the same uh, current source uh, circuit by using uh, mesh analysis is firstly we have to convert this current source into an equivalent uh, voltage source by using source transformation